English. I hope it was a good one. Um, and I hope you didn't. I'm not falling asleep. Have hello everyone to YouTube from YouTube on YouTube. I don't know. Um, I'm here. I'm Philip. I'm here to talk to you about Wikipedia as a residence and how we in Serbia did it. I'd like to have my clicker. and try to um, bridge, to create bridges between LAM and Wikipedia or Wikimedia. Now you can ask what is LAM, for those who don't know, uh, it's an abbreviation that stands for galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. It also includes all sorts of um, cultural institutions that hold all sorts of knowledge that could and should be free. Um, and the duties of Wikipedia residents are to connect the, those institutions with our mission, to um, digitize, release, create content uh, on, uh, on all sorts of things that exist in those institutions, um, educate staff about editing Wikipedia, uploading to Commons, creating Wikidata or editing Wikidata edits, uh, to negotiate, to you, to do advocacy, so all sorts of work that relate to Wikipedia, Wikimedia, in, in a broader sense, and also um, that um, that they need to sort of um, make themselves available for for the staff and train them and um, unite the missions that we have that are complementary. So now a little back background of Wikimedia Serbia. We are a non-government organization. We, we, found, we were founded in 2005 as a fifth chapter in the Wikimedia movement. Uh, we are very volunteer-based. We have a large volunteer uh, community uh, from the start. And most of our activities, which were not too big in the first years, were all volunteer only. But in 2012, when once Wikimedia Foundation started making uh, grant schemes that we could use, we started using them. So at first we created uh, several local projects, uh, like the Glass Monuments and uh, uh, some events that were funded by the Wikimedia Foundation, and afterwards we were bold enough to create an annual plan grant, APG, uh, from 2012, and ever since we are part of the APG process. So uh, we created an office and we have four employees until now, so you can see that we've, we've had a rise and now a stagnation in the number of uh, staff members. But four is something that we're really, um, we, that we really like. Uh, they do all the, all the hard work, of course. Well, volunteers do a lot of work too, but they are the dedicated staff that helps us. Um, so what's our plan of context? We have cultural institutions which are very closed. They are old-fashioned, they work like in the 19th century, they don't like innovation. They think they're gatekeepers of knowledge, of their um, cultural heritage, and um, I mean, in a little, little sense, they keep the gates closed. So, um, they are also possessive curators, they don't want to uh, share anything unless we sort of make them do it. Um, so our, our uh, mission from the get-go was to talk them, to mellow them down, to make them feel that, that this is not what, it should, be, what should be done. Um, and also, they don't have understanding for new technologies, as I said, 19th century. Uh, so mo most of them need to be modernized. So what, what did we do? At first, we had an open GLAM conference. We wanted to, because that was when GLAMs were, GLAM program around the world was starting to heat up. And we decided to hold a conference to sort of showcase what exists in the world, what are the options, and to meet them, meet them in person and see how it works, how, how, what they think about us, and to tell them what we think about them. Of course, not the bad stuff. Uh, so after that, we had several, 
like uh, 19 sort of co cooperations, various sorts of cooperations. So releasing photos, some basic edit-a-thons, some QR codes, which I know some don't like to use, but hey, it worked for us. Um, and we had one serious glam reference at one point, that was four years ago. Um, we partnered up with one of the largest libraries in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia, uh, the University Library of the University of Belgrade, and they have been a part of our GLAM project ever since, program ever since, uh, because they're a strong partner and um, we, we use them to outsource GLAM work in libraries because they are good workers of, in their, and, and good, um, they're a beacon of light in, in the um, darkness of libraries in Serbia, so they're a really good partner. Um, and we've had uh, several GLAM attempts where we wanted to uh, have a Wikipedia in residence, um, and some worked, some didn't. Uh, we also had some other issues, but all, all the time we hit this one question, why should we do this to you? Why should we give you the, the content? We are making money. This is our livelihood. So one day we received a very interesting email which changed everything for us because, because all of a sudden uh, the Ministry of Culture and Information in Serbia, Republic of Serbia, especially their section for the, or the yeah. Department of Development of Digital Research Infrastructure in the field of culture, culture and art, a mouthful, um, they decided to start working on digitization in their, all of their institutions around Serbia. And they thought that, hey, Wikimedia Serbia is someone who could help there. And boy, did they, <laughs> did they do it right. Um, they wanted to meet with us. They wanted to find out, wait, how can we work together? And we did meet because, because yay, <laughs> something good happened. Um, they said, yeah, you're doing this thing um, uh, that, and we, we want to do, we want to collaborate with us and we're like, yes, yes, we do want to collaborate with you and we're not giving up. Um, let's do it together. So um, with the in cooperation with them, we created a, a set of seminars. So those were meant to help teach one institutions, especially their key staff, about how to um, digitize, how to release information or uh, content, etc. So uh, we had uh, one, uh, the first GLAM seminar in the Press Center of Ministry of Culture and Information. Um, it lasted for three days, almost 30 uh, institutions were involved, and uh, we had double that uh, representatives. And uh, what we wanted to do is teach them what Wikipedia is, what Wikimedia is, and Commons especially, uh, what are licenses, uh, which they should really know, should have known by now, but they don't, um, how they can use them, um, what is the GLAM program, obviously, and uh, more importantly, how they can contribute. How, so we, we created a workshop where we told them how to edit Wikipedia, but also uh, how to upload. And, they, and we wanted to, for them to bring one photo, just one photo that they could upload and, you know, to show them that it's so easy and it's so, um, and it worked. Two photos got uploaded. <laughs> um, but still, uh, it was a, a very uh, interesting experience because the results were that we had three cooperations with um, several institutions and those are very big and important institutions like Museum of Yugoslavia. Uh, Museum of Vojvodina, which is the northern province of Serbia. Um, we had an editathon and one Wikimedian in residence program uh, in that Museum of Yugoslavia. And we had some other interests in the program. Um, and we had one grant submission, which is not too important, but yeah, they, they got interested in, in our programs, in our annual plan. Um, so what we did there, um, we, uh, this is actually the second Wikipedian in residence there. Uh, but the first one didn't work out too well. Uh, they wanted to, they, they didn't want to uh, give us everything. They didn't want to 
to get involved as much. But now, when, when after this seminar, they were like, yeah, let's do this. We want to do this. This is great. So it really helped because uh, it brought things to perspective for them. Because at first, they thought, oh, this is just one small organization that wants to take photos from us. But once they saw that we have a backing of the ministry that sort of works that they work for, basically, then they said, okay, yes, this, this is important, we should do this. And they're nice people, they, they really are, so, and there's a lot of stuff to do there. So we did a lot of, uh, we had a lot of uh, content, 826 released files, um, two Wikipedians residents, one edit-thon, so it's, uh, I think it's, um, th those are good results. And then we had a second GLAM seminar, uh, which was two days, not three. Um, 20 institutions, 40 participants, so not as large. Um, but still, it, because it was in the north of Serbia, the northern province, just focused on that part. Um, and that was better because it was not the whole Serbia, it was more focused. Um, and the program was similar to the first seminar, uh, but we split it into two days, so uh, all the, the institutions participated in both days, so it was sort of spread out, and it was better, I think. Um, so the results. We had two Wikimedians in residence program after that. So you can see it helps. It, it's, th this kind of brought us together with some institutions and uh, we have some other uh, good results that we can showcase and we have some more cooperations coming soon. Um, it's hard to navigate because they, they take time, uh, cooperations. Um, and we also had a third seminar, which were we called advanced workshops, which uh, went more in, in, in more depth regarding how to edit Wikipedia, or the licenses, the uh, upload to Commons, Wikidata, etc. So um, we had some more uh, results there. Um, and also, you can see me here, basically the same clothes. <laughs> um, Ten days ago, or something, uh, we received. Um, it's a, it's a thank you uh, certificate to Wikimedia Serbia. So the Ministry of Culture and Information wanted to um, acknowledge the help in the work in the field of digitization around Serbia and about 15 organizations, mostly state organizations, got the, this thank you card, thank you certificate. And we were one of very few NGOs that got recognized. So this is this is really a good. good uh, not accomplishment, but sort of uh, reference. They, they did, we were really proud that they recognized us as a valuable partner in the field of digitization, and this is definitely not the end. We're continuing this, this, um, this um, drive to, to uh, liberate, to, well, free content, not liberate. Um, and so after that, um, the, the Ministry of Culture and Information, so as I said, they, they saw a good partner, a valuable partner in us, so together with them, we created three more Wikipedia in residence programs uh, on top of the programs that we planned for this year. So this year we planned four programs and then we have three with them, so that's a lot of Wikipedians in residence in one year, um, and we got a grant for uh, more than 4,000 euros, which would cover three two-month uh, residencies. And we did, well, two of them, Museum of Yugoslavia, Museum of Vojvodina, and one is Historical Archives of, uh, of this one city in the south, Pirot, um, which is still in progress. So um, the ministry really helped us with, with these uh, residencies. So what's next? Um, we need to sign an official agreement with the Ministry. We don't have anything official yet, which is not really a problem, but we want to uh, formalize that so that we can have, we can easily, more easily get into newer institutions, some other institutions as well. Um, then we need to implement two other Wikipedia and residence programs until the end of the year, so that's sort of crammed, but we're working on it. Uh, and we need to prepare for the future. 
we need to expand our network of clients. So we have met a lot of clients, but they are in very different stages of progress, of, of readiness to be able to, to host a Wikipedia residence. They need to have materials, they need to understand copyright, they need to understand the copyright status of their materials, and that's the crucial part because most of them don't. And we need to sort of remind them of, yes, you, you own the material, but are you the copyright owners? That's really important. Um, and we need to make it sustainable. So far, we've fo we're, we've, we have focused on smaller, so uh, short-time uh, residencies, whereas maybe we want to have some longer-term uh, cooperations. Uh, that's hard when we have a lot of smaller museums that don't really have a lot of content in general, but the larger ones do, so we want to do that. We want to tackle that potential. Uh, we also have this one museum where the... Uh, it's really small museum. They have about 6,000 articles of um, whatever, so content items, and they wanted to, to free everything, every single one, which would be great. It would be a cool PR thing. Like, the, this museum freed everything, and everything is uncommon. But the thing is, that museum is not that relevant. It's, not, it's very small. It's very niche. So we're still considering that. Um, and we need to, and we want to co create new models of cooperation because make, maybe Wikipedia in residence doesn't work everywhere. Um, so we're considering all those things. So what are the challenges? Uh, Wikimedia Serbia has its capacities, both in terms of human resources, I mean staff. We have four staff, but that's, we have a lot of other projects. Um, but also co um, co community or volunteers. Not everyone could... Uh, be a Wikipedia in a residence. And we also, we also held this call for people. We wanted to concurs, as the, someone would say. We, we wanted to find suitable people to be, because we have to be residents, because we all of a sudden we had seven places to fill, and we didn't have people. So we sort of created this contest, and um, we got people. But then the problem was, OK, how do we connect them to the right institutions? First, how do we find institutions, and then how do we connect them. So, so that was very hard and we still haven't finished that. But so, so the, the takeaway is um, you need to think about how you can connect people with institutions because um, every institution, if you want, if, it, if you want a Wikipedia in residence there, um, you need to have a person who is able to do um, all that work. Maybe they want a historian, maybe they want someone who, who knows art history, for example. Or, or, so you need to find, you need to make right connections. Uh, also licenses, copyrights. That's something that's very strange to them. We need to find a better way to, um, to make them learn how, how to understand that. Um, first, they, some of them have their legal departments where uh, you know, legal, but a lot of them just don't understand, understand or don't want to understand that. And, and some have the best of intentions, but just don't know the consequences if they do something that they shouldn't do, like give out all the material and they don't have the right to do that. So uh, we also have want to create sustainable corporations because yes, we, we need to uh, be able to make this a long-term partnership. And also um, we need to... Uh, uh, Prevent something we, we want to call, we sometimes call a rivalries, where after a Wikipedia residence program, they maybe start editing themselves and sort of find an us as rivals to them, which doesn't really make sense, but you know, they're weird. Um, and also, um, we need to be clear on our goals. We need to uh, say, okay, we do work toward the same goal. Uh, digitization is something you need because your ministry wants. You to digitize the work, and we also want that, but we also want to free the work. So we need to be on the same page. So what did we learn? Um, yes, we learned that having a financial support from the ministry is really important. Uh, but yeah, that, that sort of uh, taught us that um, when we get a gift from above, 4,000 euros for three residencies, you can't really take it for granted. You need to invest a lot of time to uh, make it work, to really find the best institutions, to find the best people. So, so that, it, you know, every gift has a, a, a sort of a receipt with it, a tag that, you know, you need to uh, make the best use of it. 
Um, and also, uh, we've learned how to uh, how to better train staff about CC licenses and copyright in general. We're learning as well. We're not copyright experts. None of us is. Um, but with all these uh, operations, we're uh, we're gathering new experiences. We're gathering new precedents about uh, what happens. You know. What do I do with this photo? Was taken then, but the, the the author died 30 years later. But you know, all those issues with copyright. It, it, you know, you can't generalize that. You, you have to sometimes deal with them on a case by case basis. Um, and also, we need to be more supportive and patient. The patience is key word. Glam staff, because sometimes they're just. I don't want to say stupid, but not really the best people to work on that on that particular work. Uh, sometimes they just don't care because it's, you know, work in, in the state-owned, uh, not business, but organization. They work for small salaries. They don't, not satisfied. They're disinterested in anything. So you need to have patience and, of course, ditch the ones that you don't, that you see that there's no, um, there, there will be no fruition there. So if someone just doesn't want to cooperate, don't lose energy on them. Um, just say no and, you know, move to the ones, ones that make sense, sense, that actually can and will work with you. Um, and of course, explain the greater cause, because um, at, at first, they just didn't want to do anything with us because they thought, okay, you're just going to kill my business. I'm getting money from this. But we need to explain to them that it's, it's not about the money. You, you might get more money if you, if you get on comments, if you, because you're not visible. No one knows about the, your museum because it's so small, it's so out of place. But if it's on Wikipedia, if it gets a lot of hits, then you, you will actually uh, be seen as, a, as someone who, who does have a lot of work and who can, you know, a lot of material and who can actually be visited and then, you know, you can get your revenue. So a lot of misunderstanding or not understanding comes from their old ways, and I think that, you know, living in the 21st century, we can definitely fix that. So, that's all from me. If you have any questions, I'd like to hear them and or open a discussion and briefly put a credit page. Yes. I had two questions. I mean, that's what you want to answer. So, my question is, if you are working with ministry, you are not afraid uh, uh, to be involved in politics? That's the first question. And second question, usually with Wikimedian in residence, there is a problem that Wikipedians doesn't want, like they, they have their own job. job. So how would you select uh, Wikipedian in residence? Great question. Um, so politics, yes, we want to stay clear of politics. Uh, especially if we don't support the government, current governments or current politics. I'm not saying we do or don't, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, um, you can't avoid politics. When it, when it comes to ministries, when it comes to high-level stuff, you can't avoid politics. But in, in terms of, you know, uh, we never talk about politics with them. Those people are action-oriented. And I guess it depends on the context, but in our context, that really helps because they are not people who 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 um, say, "Okay, you can do this," but if you vote for us or something like that. So, I guess we were lucky in that regard because we didn't we never mentioned politics. Um, there might have been some pressures here and there, but we, we tried to be very very clear that we are not doing that or we're not succumbing to any pressures. We are doing what we do, we're non-political, and we're action-oriented. We want action. So, um, to sum it up, we didn't have any problems, and you know, I think meandering the political scenery is not a problem if you don't really mention politics at all. Uh, when it comes to um, selecting uh, Wikipedians in residence, that's really hard because, it, as you said, some Wikipedians just don't have the time or, or, or um, or time, or time uh, to, to work on that. But what we did was, as I said, create this uh, sort of contest. Well, people applied, and uh, some of them were Wikipedians. So it turns out that there are some people who just don't have the job because, well, 21st century. Uh, but also, um, 
we got a lot of non-Wikipedians that applied, which actually had very good backgrounds in terms of you know, um, experience, uh, uh, university degrees, et cetera. So uh, we found a lot of new people who are actually very good, that, that showed promise. And some of them did actually do some residencies, and we're really satisfied with them because you don't have to be a Wikipedian to be able to get a residence. And what we also found out is that they go beyond uh, what is needed for those residencies because they really want the job, actually. It's, it's a fun thing to do, I think. Um, so it's a mix and match. It's a bit of Wikipedians, a bit of foreign, foreigners, non Wikipedians, but they might become Wikipedians eventually. And I'm sure that some of them we will definitely uh, continue cooperating with. I have a question. Uh, are you by any means planning to collaborate with the academia, especially in terms of language, like language minorities? minorities I think have a large language over there in Serbia. Uh, when it comes to like, common work with a witch network. So I, th I think that might be a good idea, but I'm not sure. Yes, academia and, and education in general is something of a different topic. We have the education program as well. Uh, which is not, <laughs> which I'll be talking tomorrow about. Uh, but yes, uh, minority languages are not something that we've covered so far because it's something that's very hard. It's what I like to call hard problem trademark. Um, you can, you, it's really hard to tackle it because they're not standardized. Uh, the communities are dispersed. Um, we and it's usually not centralized, so it's not in Belgrade, and it. Even though we try to uh, expand our activities throughout Serbia, the country is really centralized around Belgrade, so most of the activities in our office is there. So it's hard to cooperate with uh, institutions that are marginalized, but outside of Belgrade. Let's say, so what if, for example, we have some evidence in our office there? Yeah. Uh, well, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, since the country is centralized, if, if you're in Belgrade, it's kind of difficult to co collaborate uh, with someone in Sotica, for example, or somewhere else in Serbia. But uh, is, there, is there an institution in Belgrade that's uh, responsible for those, you know, ethnic minority matters? Uh, I'm pretty sure there are, is some, there are some institutions about, uh, regarding Roma people and also some uh, Hungarian minorities, Slovak minorities near Belgrade, if not in, in Belgrade. Um, but then those were not our main targets because uh, Wikimedia Hungary exists, Wikimedia Slovakia well, sort of exists. It's, um, uh, we didn't find that it's our main focus. Uh, but yes, minority languages are something that we will think about probably in the next a few years. I won't commit to anything, but uh, it is something that is worth um, thinking about. Uh, so you said about um, like this year you will have, you will have like four to seven weekly um, residents. I'm just wondering, uh, for, like by average, how many months they are working in each institution, and uh, are they like mainly multimedia focused, or some of them are working actually on text on Wikipedia, or yes, maybe I should mention that. Um, so. Um, what we budgeted for in our annual plan was one month, four one month uh, residencies, which is which might sound odd to some people because they were used to longer um, engagements. Uh, but what we found out is that, as I said, many institutions are not that large, so maybe one month would be enough, not for to cover the whole thing, but to cover the basic things, to, to cover the, the things we care about uh, mostly. So um, yes. It's, it's mostly one month, but it's, it's not set in stone. We, we, you know, we, we tailor those, um, those residencies to the needs of the institutions. Um, the second question was, remind me. Uh, like Multimedia, yes. Oh, so what, what do the they work, actually? So um, it's, uh, for us, for the Ministry of Culture um, uh, residencies, they wanted to focus on, on articles on Wikipedia. Uh, so we did that. So all of them had to, to uh, so all the two, two month residencies had to write 100 articles each, which we found was a challenge. It was really challenging to write 100 articles in two months. Um, but they did it. The, at least the two of them that did finish. Um, but 
my personal opinion is that we should focus on multimedia more than articles themselves. So in the uh, residencies that are funded directly by Wikimedia Serbia, well, foundation <laughs> ultimately, um, we want to focus not on articles, uh, but on multimedia. So on digitizing important works, pieces of work, but also uh, scanning photos, all documents, etc. So I think that's, that will be our main focus, uh, unless proven otherwise. Are there any questions or comments, suggestions? <laughs> How much time do we have? Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. All right. Um, up to fifteen. Up to fifteen. Okay. Um, I, I intentionally didn't want to make this long so that we can discuss if you want. I don't want to. Um, yes, of course. So you said the um, uh, ministry and your uh, interests went hand in hand, uh, sort of against the institutions, maybe, because they were not so eager in the beginning. Uh, what? So did the institutions feel a pressure to hire a Wikipedia in residence, or did they see any alternative roads to digitization? Uh, what were your competitors? Uh, if if the museums had a, a pressure from the ministry to uh, show signs of digitization, so that's a very multifaceted question. Um, yes, some of them. I don't think we really had any sort of competition, so it was either us or themselves, and definitely some of them didn't really want to. Um, do anything. They were pressured, but they just ignored it because they can. Um, but the ones that actually uh, thought about it and, and seriously wanted to do it, um, they wanted us to help them. So but that, that goes a, a different way when a lot of them want us as work, you know, as the, their mule that will just work for them and they will be very, you know, they won't get their hands dirty. And that's not something we want. You know, when they just want us to do independently, you know, do everything you want and, you know, we're fine. That's not something we want. We want to make a long-lasting impression on them. We want to uh, sow the seeds of um, potential future cooperation. We want to be able to, you know, say with the pride that we did this together. So it, it, we don't think it makes sense to just go there and do stuff. We need to have, you know, as we want, like to call it two-way cooperation. So we want to, them to want to have, to have us there. So um, we, we need to, you know, talk to them. Um, um, Educate them on how to edit Wikipedia, how to, to upload to Commons, uh, maybe even Wikidata, but that's probably too far for most of them. Um, so we need to, uh, and of course, there are some people, some organizations that uh, are more, let's say, modern, more uh, independent. So what they do is actually they do it themselves. Um, and some of them do have resources for that. And there's actually one an important example of this one museum in. Uh, Zanin, that's a town in northeast of Serbia, which uh, in Vojvodina. So uh, they applied for a grant last year for with us, with Wikimedia Serbia, to get a scanner. So they didn't they didn't want anything else rather than scanner, which is a weird you know request. But we said okay, you know they will bring a lot of results. They will scan a lot of things because that's what they do. You know we won't send we won't. Put to spend any resources, you know, human resources, or any really, except for maybe a thousand five hundred euros of, of, of you know, the worth of, of the scanner. So they did create a lot of, um, a lot of digitized work, and we, and they created, of course, put it in common. So we think that that's useful. So they applied for next year's budget, and they applied for a project for the sum of zero. So they didn't want anything. They just wanted to keep using the, the scanner. Um, and we were like, yeah, I mean, 
this is the, the easiest project to, to approve. Like <laughs> zero money, yes, that's great. Um, and they just actually wanted to keep using the, the scanner because otherwise we would get it back because it's our property. So you know there are institutions which don't, do want to actually work, um, but there are very few, and we need to <laughs> take care of them. Um, and of course, after all these seminars, uh, a lot of um, institutions came to us and and wanted to to do you know a lot. And we know that that's just not possible. That's you know beyond both our capacity. So we wanted to you know meet with them, tell them, okay, this is how things work. You know, you can't have everything, but we, we need to find common ground. We need to find what works for both of us, and then we can do that. All right. Any more questions? Maybe yes. How much for you? They like an organization, they train good media in the resident. To train a new group. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so once we um, selected the Wikipedians, Wikipedians and residents after the call for people, etc., um, I think it was like two days seminar or two day meeting. So not a lot, actually. So the people that we selected were very let's say, smart, <laughs> intelligent people. They um, were knowledgeable about IT. So, you know, getting them to get to know Wikipedia was a piece of cake, really. Um, and I guess that's, you know, we had an opportunity to select people because we had a lot of applicants. So we, have, we need to narrow it down. And by narrowing it down, we kind of uh, discarded a lot of bad, or who would be bad. Um, Wikipedia's residents, so we, we've selected very, uh, very good people who, after you know, going through the training on our part, uh, proved that they actually could do it themselves. And you know, only two days or three, I, I think that's that's top. So, um, and also, just just to add, it's it wasn't um, all you know, young people. Um, we had two older ladies um, who were very. Um, they showed that their worth showed their worth during the interview processes. So uh, we we of course we didn't want to appear ageist or anything. We we really liked them and wanted to use them. And they you know one of them finished one of the residencies, the one month residencies, and that was great. And uh, sometimes you know having older people actually works because the um, organizations that we partner with are also old timers in a way. So they can find um, common tongue, you know, common language when, when, when they work and, and that, that proved very, very useful. All right, I think we can wrap this up. Thank you for your attention. See you another time. And now we have Susanna. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. I am Susanna from Armenia, chair of the board of Wikimedia Armenia. And uh, we can see Yerevan. <laughs> you know that uh, this year Yerevan turns 2,800 years. And uh, it is uh, for us uh, very important to uh, all over the world to know about this, about Yerevan, how nice it, and how old and how young is Yerevan. And uh, um, uh, um, thanks to my nephew in law who <laughs> works at municipality, he uh, called me that uh, uh, we have a budget to uh, advertise Yerevan in many languages, how to do this, what you can su suggest. I, rem <laughs> I, um, 
I knew that we have not succeeded in GLAM uh, projects. Just uh, a few uh, persons, uh, they go to the uh, museums and they did a great work, but they um, faced many challenges. And uh, I uh, wrote a plan. No? Uh -huh. Maybe you will do. <laughs> okay. Uh, the situation before Vicky loves Yerevan uh, was very poor. Uh, uh, Despite we have uh, several memorandum with uh, National Library and Martin Adaran, but it don't work. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, we decided how to organize to have uh, many uh, uh, Wikipedia articles about Yerevan, but not uh, uh, such about Yerevan, but uh, uh, glam institutions and they are items. <laughs> Um, the plan was uh, uh, such that uh, we prepare in uh, Russian, in Armenian, in um, English uh, content, and after we will do edit. Uh, but we understand that uh, its content we need help of uh, um, employees of institutions, authorities, everything, and. We, was, uh, we were thinking how to uh, track them and uh, decided to organize uh, international forum, Guam International Forum, and uh, we choose key person in Guam <laughs> uh, um, in uh, many countries and invited them, uh, 10 of uh, um, Guam. Uh, Specialists, residents of, uh, from uh, 10 countries, they came to Armenia to Glam Forum. But uh, uh, simultaneously, we are working with uh, institutions. But the uh, advertisement that they will uh, meet uh, such person from foreign countries, uh, they became uh, more uh, inspirational. <laughs> spirit to it and uh, they uh, want to uh, uh, collaborate with them that's helped a lot and so uh, they uh, gave us uh, many uh, materials and uh, topics and uh, we before one forum we organized uh, several workshops in our office every Saturday uh, for um, employees of one institutions. And they started to create articles. Uh, you know, even they have some materials on Russian, in Russian, in English, that's helped a lot. After uh, this, we uh, started uh, every week uh, workshops with students uh, to um, to improve uh, Wikipedia articles uh, all about uh, these museums in, and about streets of Yerevan, about uh, building of Yerevan, and about history, of course. And um, in May, we have to organize the Lamp Forum. You can imagine that that time in Armenia. Uh, going in a direction. <laughs> it's uh, so stressful for us. <laughs> Sorry. I was afraid to say participants that <laughs> what is going to be medium. But eventually, uh, a day before, everything um, became known. We choose um, um, new prime minister that uh, um, 
which are uh, what wants, uh, who, who wants uh, people. And uh, after uh, that, uh, we made a set in second day, we made forum, and all uh, glam um, participants, forum participants, they, they say, oh, how poor we it? We couldn't be in uh, that time to, <laughs> to participate in revolution. After my speech, I'll show um, sent from the revolution. And now, a video from Glam Forum. You will uh, see a uh, familiar faces. <laughs> Gallery <laughs> I would just say just do it because it brings so much value to your collections. Uh, it gets so much more exposure to your collections through Wikimedia projects. So that's for the clients. I would say don't be afraid to do it because it's the only way to do it. The Glam Forum Yerevan is, is an interesting uh, development in, this, in the processes of what Wikimedia Armenia has been doing so successfully over the last few years. So I'm excited to see that Wikimedia Armenia is becoming really active and really uh, professionalizing into the, the cultural heritage sector as that becomes a more major component of what you do. There's so many museums that we can uh, work with, with so much cultural heritage in Armenia, relating to Armenia and also to a diaspora that really can be a, a great benefit to the world uh, if it becomes open access locally, but, but also internationally. After forum, we got many um, glam um, 
employees, uh, um, such uh, as uh, editors in Wikipedia. They are uh, starting that time, and now they are continuing uh, editing Wikipedia. Uh, and uh, after this, uh, one <laughs> international <laughs> editor, we, we uh, announced it for every language, and uh, announced that uh, uh, first 15 places, uh, uh, 15 languages, and the uh, first places of that, uh, those languages will come to Yerevan to celebrate uh, Yerevan's birthday. And uh, the, um, we um, use all channels to announce this. Uh, uh, Wikimedia channels, uh, um, private messages to Wikipedians uh, all over the world. Everything we uh, choose to, uh, to announce a larger um, 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 population. In, in, uh, and we had uh, um, um, content on uh, 45 languages and uh, um, uh, thousand uh, hundred sixty five articles and uh, in 18 languages uh, 18 in languages, languages we uh, decided uh, to have winners, winners from uh, 15, 15 but uh, <laughs> so many articles they wrote that we decided um, <laughs> And, um, the most interesting thing was, was that at uh, that time, mayor <laughs> resigned. <laughs> mayor of Kerema resigned because people uh, struggled. <laughs> and uh, we are worried that maybe they do, uh, don't uh, transfer money, but uh, it's happened <laughs> because so. Um, my nephew uh, go. <laughs> he <laughs> understand what to go. And um, now we have money, but all, all the, uh, we, uh, we were going to uh, celebrate in uh, September, but, but we moved to October. Now, after the, uh, this, uh, on 20 to 22 of October, we will celebrate together with winners, <laughs> Yerevan uh, birthday. What it was the benefit of uh, its, uh, you uh, see winners of uh, edit, uh, month of editaton. The first place is um, Arabic. Uh, the uh, um, user is from Palestine. Second place, Hebrew. <laughs> and uh, third, uh, Serbian. <laughs> but uh, there are many from um, just uh, sea countries. And most um, uh, valuable achievement is that uh, we now have uh, more than 15 institutions working with us, and they, uh, they are employee uh, contributed to Wikipedia, Wikicommons, and Wikidata. It was, I think, a very successful project and very stressful <laughs> and fun. Um, that's all we can see about revolution. <laughs> Mm -hmm. These are institutions that they joined recently.
Dukh, there is a, a word Dukhov, it's uh, from Russian Dukh, <laughs> but it's not spirit, uh, it is just be bold. <laughs> And Liam bought a uh, um, T-shirt <laughs> with this and uh, in Cape Town, he was in. <laughs> but um, I think it's uh, um, very, uh, we, we, we are very, um, um, how to say, um, I forgot the word. Not uh, just going uh, flexible, very uh, in this way because everything changes. <laughs> everything, even in uh, Berlin, I don't know how to say to people who will come to Yerevan or not. <laughs> uh, they will decide not to come. <laughs> see this, but it was. Peaceful revolution. So. No, no question. question. No, no. This is prime minister. New mayor. New mayor. It's new mayor. Uh, we have just in September. Uh, now we uh, will have elections in December. New parliament. Everything will change. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, questions? <laughs> yes, so thank you. Um, what was the hardest thing to organize in this, in this let's say, project? Um, so as I see, there's, there were a lot of different things throughout several months. months. What, what was, was the, the most, most challenging? challenging? Most challenging uh, 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 collaboration between institutions, but that, uh, that we decided to have international forum, it helps a lot. But not uh, big institutions, they are very proud themselves, they are thinking that they are the owner everything. It's, but, but I think, I think it will grow, grow and, and um, change something. And uh, I, I want to congratulate you that you achieve uh, some, some uh, um, uh, memorandum or something with uh, your minister of culture. We didn't receive it. <laughs> And are there questions more? <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Kirill. Uh, can you again explain uh, what's the main reason? I don't understand uh, about including that video from the Velvet Revolution in the presentation. I mean, how it uh, uh, was beneficial for the project and why it was included. I mean, yeah, but uh, I mean, if the point was to uh, celebrate the anniversary of Yerevan, it might be much better to hear another video to. But uh, you know, it was very stressful. We uh, invited people, but uh, because of resigning of mayor, will we, uh, we will have problem. Uh, we, uh, we are afraid that people scared not to come to Yerevan. Uh, that's why it's uh, 
stressful, stressful and very uh, emotional uh, process. And maybe its uh, revolution helps that uh, pe people want to um, uh, want to uh, describe, describe their, their country, country everything. everything. Maybe, maybe its, it's emotion come uh, to our um, collaboration forum and editathon because it's a positive energy. Yes, that in uh, our Glam Forum was in May. It was in May. Uh -huh. Glam, Glam Forum ju uh, just, just started, started with, with uh, uh, the, the day, day after Pashinyan was, was elected. elected. And, and uh, uh, another thing, uh, uh, that, that mayor resigned. resigned. That's, That's why, why we ch um, 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 shift. shift um, um, Yerevan birthday celebration. Not we, but uh, Yerevan um, city hall uh, shifted. I think all participants, all time, they are uh, writing us to uh, when we will come, <laughs> what is going on. Uh, they are afraid, but fortunately, uh, if, um, when um, mayor resigned, uh, we uh, got money for participants and everything was okay. It, it was our emotions. 